Welcome back to another episode of the Youth Academy Karuma, where last episode, it looked like we are starting to get things back on track after losing against Coventry City 2-1. to one. We went ahead and closed the month out by winning the last four games. We are now on a four-game win streak, a 5-1 thumping against Wofford, a 3-2 close game against Blackbird, and then Quick Sims against Sheffield and Ipswich leads to a double 2-0 win in both of those games. We now have Millwall, Hull City, Norwich, and Sunderland in today's episode as we are looking back onto the quest of getting possibly into the playoffs of our goal of trying to get in towards the, the Premier League with their only one season. And in fact, we are only three points off a of playoff spot at the moment, so it's actually not looking terrible for us. Eight wins, seven losses, zero draws there. Burnley is winning the league at the moment by 1.2 Coventry City. And we're going to kick things off here with a scouting report. And we're going to kick things off here with Yorebe, a 3.9 million rated goalkeeper, unfortunately. It's always the goalkeepers that are the best that you just don't need. And I don't need a goalkeeper. I have Veda. I like Veda. Other than that, 1 million for Henrique Sosa. Honestly, his potential isn't good, so we won't bring him in. And then over towards Norway for the first time ever. Can we get something decent out of there? I do not think so. I was muted for the Spain one, but we actually got in somebody very decent. Where did he go? Delgado. Delgado, 67 rated cam, or not cam, but right wing. He might come into a team instantly to just shake things up because we kind of need him. But Yurde, Yurde is a 72 overall goalkeeper with a potential of 69 to, to 94. So that's kind of interesting there. We're also going to keep a little eye out on Delgado, though, just to see what he is about later on. Maybe, maybe just bring him in. Now, can we make it five wins from five? We can kick things off here with a quick sim. No, the win streak comes to an end against Millwall. They were seven points behind us. Now only four, unfortunately. So we go ahead and close and lose that one. And our win streak comes to an end. Game here against Hull City. They are one point behind us. And, but you can see in the midfield, a certain man is back from injury. Vadella the Travella man. He is back from that broken toe injury I believe he had for three months. And he's back in the starting 11, replacing Fox. Obviously, Fox did a good job, but it's now time for Vadella to take back over. And let's see what he can do in his first game back here against Hull City. Jaden! A beautiful volley, but Vera blocks it out for a corner. Anyone know? It's into Jaden. Jaden into Usan Tufan, and it's 1 0 for Hull. Richie over the top. Can he find Ruiz? He can. Ruiz and chores. Check, check. A beautiful finish for him. It's 1 1 right before halftime. Weston heads it down into Lombardi. Lombardi now just trying to carry it out wide, and that's going to be halftime. It's 1 1 at the break here against. And towards Lombardi. Can't spin off of it. Oh, there's going to be a foul. There's a red card. A red card in for Charlie Hughes. What happened? I thought I lost the ball cleanly. I can't lie. That's a foul? Richie on the free kick. Maybe a little bit too much power on it. Oh, Richie in towards Lombardi. That's a high lofting ball. Always in the favor for the defender there. Can watch when the second one he can. Weston now in towards Mayor. Mayor. Mayor holding on to the ball, getting absolutely pounded though. Lombardi laid off for Vanilla and his return, and Vanilla has the lead for Wakefield. The man with the broken toe injury comes back and possibly saving us from a draw here against 10 men, Whole City. Now, wholesale changes here. Alves is coming on. Oh, let me just say off. Check Lombardi, Vanilla, and the right winger, Diarda, coming off. All positions have been changed. So Al is out wide on the left. Ponce at striker. Uh, Bowden? Did I put Bowden? No, I put Rodriguez out on cam. And then Fox on for Videla just to keep him a low rest. Not push him full on into the starting 11 now. And playing 90 minutes constantly. Can Sykes clear the ball? No, he can't. It's Fleming on the ball. It's Fleming in towards Vahan. Sykes will win that ball back. He'll find Rodriguez. Rodriguez just booted up the field. That's game over. A 2-1 win over 10 men hole. And Varela, the man coming back from injury, got the game winner. Good to see there. Who got man of the match? In fact, it's none of our players. It's Tufan for Holstead. Next game up is against 7th place in Norwich. 
We also have to play 8th place Centerland after this game as well. Hopefully when we play this game, we'll be two points above them. Obviously if we win this game against Norris, that would be absolutely massive. We are going to go ahead and go with the same starting at 11 here. They're not happy for some reason, even though they've been performing well. Nunez into Ryu. We wide open. And it's 1-0 for Norwich. How has he been left wide open there? Kamada. McCollum. Zolez. Kamada. 2-0 for Norwich. Zolez. Weston. Beautiful there. Now into Richie. Richie out wide for Czech. Czech now into Lombardi. Lombardi into Richie. And we get one back. It's 2-1. Beautiful work there defensively, but Ryu wins the ball back now into the box. The solo is into Kamada, and it's 3-1. As soon as I was praising my defenders, I slip up, and that's 3-1. Gives into Ryu. It's 4-1 against Norwich. 4-1. Loses the ball. We're just going to let him get to that Sunderland game. I'm, I'm just going to get to the Sunderland game. We lose 5-1. 5-1 against Norwich. All comes down tumbling. We've been on a good form. And quickly into the Sunderland game. This is your starting 11. Check remains in there. Lombardi, Richie, Vadella, Fox on for Mayor. Alves on for Diada. And that is going to be that. Weston, I would say he's on the chopping block, but we don't really have another center back. But if we did, he would be on the chopping block. One of the real OGs of the team. But he's been kind of downhill lately. So we'll keep an eye out on him closely. As we still look to try to get back to winning ways now after that destroying 5-1 loss. Fox will head it down for Alves. Alves into Richie. Richie will turn. Play on, says the referee. Trying to find Verdella. Verdella will win that. And Verdella from distance. Verdella, the long shot man, takes the lead for Wakefield. It's 1-0 here against Sunderland. And after 35, 36 minutes, we finally get the breakthrough that we deserve. Because, boy, have we been on top of them the entire game here. And it's 1-0. And it's Vadella, the man the man on a mission coming back from injury. He wants to rescue this team. Maybe that's where it went down. Did he get injured after that third win? Bursto, Vetter with the save. And now we have time. 1-0 up here against Sunderland. We've been on top of them besides that last, that last moment there. We've been all over them. Ambleton. Ayuchi, it's 1-1. Sunderland get that goal back and it's 1-1. It's level terms here. Neil, Matete, Mayenda, and Sunderland have the lead with eight minutes left to go. As we lose back to back flipping games against top playoff contending-ish teams. And it's a 2-1 loss against Sunderland. In the Sky Report at the end of the episode, we have Rafael Guzman. 82 overall, 2.6. We'll go ahead and bring him in. Anybody else here? He's looking kind of. And maybe Christopher Christensen, 850k him for Norway. For Norway from Norway. We'll go ahead and bring him in just to see what he's about. Obviously, got not getting anyone from Norway there. And then last one but not least, I believe it's Spain. It is Spain, and this guy has good overall, but his potential is awful. His value is awful, and everybody else here is awful as well. So was this a 82? His potential is just awful. His potential is awful. His his overall is great. He doesn't come into the team at all, though. I can't lie. Maybe he's not a center defensive mid. Maybe he's a center back and he'll jump up a couple of ratings there. We'll see what happens with that. But Christensen, is he a full on left back? He is. He might even be a center back solely as well. In all honesty. Because he has no attacking stats at all. He is a pure center back. If I've ever seen one. So go ahead and put him to center back. And honestly, he might come in and instantly replace Weston. Even though he might still be lower overall that is going to be the end of this episode when we come back we have the december month right before the january break here we have sheffield united qpr southampton where we currently sit in 11th we are five points off a of playoff spot we still haven't drawn a game this entire season we haven't drawn a game at all nine wins 10 losses it's not great it is not great here